Warning. Although my content is usually family-friendly, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such, will contain blood, language, suggestive themes, and violence. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, everybody! Artie and Marty are back for more fun with Rise from the Ashes. We've finished the first trial period, and things are getting pretty interesting now, yes, wouldn't indeed you say? Yes, they are. We got one, My gosh. one guy got killed in this two different places at the exact same time. Let's, but how? Let's see what this Maybe is all about. Maybe he has a clone. Maybe he has a twin brother. Maybe <laughs> it's just a flat-out lie. Who knows? Well, it's February 23rd, 2.15 p.m. There is no way that trial lasted the same length as the first trial in this game. No way. Whatever. Right in company offices. We're at the right in company offices. Um, uh, Mr. Wright, so what's going on with the case anyway? I, I'm a little confused. Huh? W well, um, let's see. What is going on? The victim, Detective Bruce Goodman, was stabbed to death after 5 p.m. on the 21st. He died in the prosecutor's parking lot and the police department's evidence room. What is this and the evidence room part? The prosecutor's office and the police department are 30 minutes apart by car. Okay, you know the other thing that I'm like... Hmm, if this was like a video game, it would totally be possible to be like, oh, I died, I regenerated, d d d d d I died, I regenerated, like, <laughs> I was some, thinking though. about that. <laughs> well, that's what we're going to find out, or try to at least. Alright, let's do it. Glad she's in good spirits, but I'm not sure she's going to be much help with this. Don't be so sure, Mr. Wright. Huh? Would you mind coming with me? I'll prove that these thick and rimmed glasses of mine aren't just for show. Let's go! Science awaits us. Oh, this looks interesting. February 23rd, prosecutor's yeah. office, underground she parking gonna, lot. She's going to, like, mix a concoction in the parking lot? You know, I really don't think we should worry about the police department murder. There wasn't even a body found there. Who cares? Of course it was our victim who was killed at the department. And my sister would never do such a thing. I know it. That oil drum. Was it empty? The oil drum kicked over by the chief prosecutor was brimming with water. My sister erasing evidence at a crime scene? Never! Even though she says they don't get along, Emma really likes her sister. That's not it at all! It's just... We're both professionals at what we do, and I trust her. Big words for a high school student. Well, whether there was blood stains or not, the water in that oil drum washed it all away. <laughs> Ignore the strength of my science at your own peril, Mr. Wright. Huh? What's that grin for? This situation calls for one thing, and that is... Luminol testing fluid! Luminol! Luminol! L Luminol? Blood is sticky stuff, you know. You can't just wash it away with a little water. Even if you can't see it, it's still there. But wouldn't the police have already done those tests? Never trust anyone's eyes but your own, Mr. Wright. Just give it a try. M me Why do I have to do it? I'm a minor. I can't even drink yet. We're testing bloodstains with this stuff, not drinking it. Here, look. I'll lend you these glasses. Huh? You had an extra pair of those things? So now we get to wear her glasses and it's red <laughs> on the screen. <laughs> to test for blood reaction, just splay the luminol on it. Like this, see? Touch the screen to spray it on, or just use the computer. <laughs> okay, let's find some blood stains. Yeah, so this is kind of where it's like, yep, this is for the DS. We now get to actually tap on the screen to look for stuff. Oh, look. We sprayed a whole bunch, it'll eventually turn blue, and we can zoom in on it. I can see her eyes shining behind those glasses. So this is a blood stain? Uh, it's so... Ugh! Emma, you're shaking. It's just... This is my first time seeing real blood. Scientific what? investigation in action. Wait, how have you never seen blood before? I think she meant just through the luminol glasses. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, we definitely know this is a blood stain. But doesn't something strike you as odd? Scientifically speaking, of course. What's odd about this? Scientifically? The bloodstain's location, the amount of blood. Probably the amount of blood. Yep. <laughs> <It's not laughs> if we're stupid, location. what happens? Why, the bloodstain's location is odd! Elementary! 
Huh? Why is that elementary? I mean, I would think that if there was a fight, you'd expect some bloodstains here. I suppose you might think that. Come on, Mr. Wright! We're all counting on you! There is something odd about this bloodstain, but if it's not the location of the blood, then maybe... Maybe it's the amount of blood that's odd? I definitely think so. I mean... Look at all the blood on the sole of the victim's shoe! It's strange. If they fought here, there'd have to be more bloodstains than this. Uh, hey, Mr. Wright. See how I'm marking up the floor plans when we find a bloodstain? See, I'm pretty handy to have around, right? Uh, yeah, that's very useful information to have. I saved up my allowance to buy this. Luminol testing fluid wow. information received from Emma. Emma's very responsible. Yeah. We can't be sure that the police will reveal all of their evidence in court. Sometimes, they fail to mention evidence that doesn't fit with their view of the case. And will drag that hidden evidence out until the light of day. Yeah! It feels like we're really investigating a crime now, doesn't it? This Luminol stuff is going to come in handy. Ha! Huh. Oh, ha! Huh. That did not sound good. I wonder how that fluid of yours would react to a nice deli box. Miss Star! You only trust your eyes, hmm? Not bad, you two. This day-old deli box is on the house. Sorry, it's just that kind of lead-in doesn't really get my mouth watering. <laughs> it's Cough of Coin again. Woohoo! You certainly put me in a tight spot today. My apologies, Miss Star, but... No, no. It's okay. It was my fault. Oh, we know. <laughs> I witnessed everything from that security room right there. But I was afraid that wouldn't sound convincing enough, you see. I was wrong to think that. I'm sorry. Sorry?! You lied on the witness stand! That's unforgivable! Uh-oh. <laughs> Little girl. Don't forget what's important here. Even if the place I witnessed the events from was different, I still saw what I saw. I saw Chief Prosecutor Sky stab a man in cold blood, and that testimony still stands! Ah. Uh, I swear it on my honor as a detective. She stabbed Goodman. I know this photograph has something important to tell us, but what? Hmm. She looks mad. Yeah. So, you were a detective, weren't you, Miss Star? She's got a lot to be mad about, to be fair. Yes. It was a long time ago. Well, two years ago. No matter how I hardened the criminal, when they faced me... They coughed it up. Coughed it up? They confessed. They babbled like babies. You know... I may seem like a demon sometimes, but I can be an angel, too. I wouldn't doubt it. Or the devil's angel. <laughs> Every day I drag the dirt out of the mouths of suspect after suspect. And before long they called me... The Cough-Up Queen. <laughs> I can't decide if that's like a really cool name or a really stupid name. Oh, and here I thought someone had gotten food poisoning from your lunches. Oh, Emma, Dane. I still adore that, this animation of Emma's. Me too, where she's just like writing in her book. <laughs> she's she also got the eyebrows, me, like, she looks a right. little sinister here. Actually. She reminds me a little bit of, like, Marcy from Peanuts. Peanuts. Oh, I, Marcy's one of my favorite characters. She's, like, my Peanuts. favorite character. <laughs> <laughs> and you were let go, or fired. I felt that I had found my dream job when I became an investigator. And, if these prim and proper prosecutors hadn't let me go, I'd still be one today. Mm hmm It's all because of that case. The SL9 incident. SL... Wait, she doesn't mean... Ooh, Wait, but that was on the note. Yeah, it was. I wonder who she fought against. Um, what do you think about this? SL9 incident on that knife. And on that note, Goodman. Goodman was the head detective on that case, you know. Really? That knife was evidence from that case, the murder weapon. It was due for transferal the very day that Goodman was killed. Hmm. 
as I suspected. SLS9 isn't over yet. Not yet. Do you think you could tell us more about the SL9 incident? Yeah, good question. Could you? Apparently no. she could not. She's like, no. She's like, forget it, kid. That looks like a petrified piece of provolone. Huh? It's not! It's my attorney's badge! I think a petrified piece of provolone would fetch more on the open market. Look, my badge isn't up for sale. Not yet, at least. Wow. Snap. Show him the prosecutor trophy. <laughs> This'll go over well. Could you take a look at this? You. Yes? You said you wanted some hot tea, right? Uh, no, but thanks. She didn't even look at it. Mmm! You must have to brew the leaves a long time to get a rich flavor like this. Oh, she actually gave her to the We pre-infuse the leaves with steam before brewing. I knew it! So that's the secret to the aroma! Exquisite! Okay, I wonder if she's like... Is she like the all-in-one lady where sort of like how there's like the one-man band? Is she like, I carry a steamer at all times? Maybe. I carry lunch boxes at all times? She's got a purse, Panini so she maker, can hold anything in there. Like everything. <laughs> the only thing I'm smelling here is wasted time. Aw. Edgeworth's name. <laughs> Miles Edgeworth's name. I wonder if you can... <laughs> what were you gonna say? I, I wonder if you can spray the, uh... Evidence? Ev evidence. No, you no, can't, of course. Okay. A body with Edgeworth's knife stuck in it was found in Edgeworth's car. I think he owes me his gratitude. Gratitude? Why, if I hadn't witnessed the crime, Mr. Edgeworth would have been the suspect! Hmm, I wonder. Edgeworth's just like, oh, I killed him! <laughs> that would be funny. Still, it's strange. Why didn't our chief prosecutor have her own murder weapon ready? Indeed. I still think that weirdo who stared at us for like five minutes straight, maybe it was him! Okay, interesting. No, that guy, Creeper. Damien Gant, he's, no, he's quirky. No, I mean, no, no, he was creepy. Okay, he, you've made up your he mind freaked about me this. Out. I, he started just staring like... <laughs> no one can see you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it was really... His eyes were open too wide. It's like I if feel like he okay, squints them. No, it went, went normally, yes. Someone used a marker to write their name on this. Emma Sky. Don't tell me you bring this with you everywhere you go. Well, you never know when something might go down. Just what kind of a world do you think we live in? <laughs> She only just bought it with her allowance, right? Yeah. <laughs> Some girls bring their makeup everywhere. Emma okay. Sky brings her luminol testing fluid everywhere. Okay, I don't even mark- I don't mark anything I own. <laughs> like at all. Like if someone was like, "Oh, I left, I left my purse somewhere. I guess this belongs to Marty." Like, You're, I wouldn't, okay. I wouldn't have marked it. Oh, never mind. Nothing about the shoe. Hot tea. It's delightful. I love tea. <laughs> if you think about it, I could have taken that picture from the guard room. But even if I get even I get flustered sometimes. So you went straight to the scene of the crime. And climbed the chain link fence in an effort to stop the murder? That's when I took this photo, yes. In other words, five minutes after the crime? Those five minutes are the whole problem. The hole in my testimony, as it were. The five minutes weren't the problem, Miss Star! You lying was the problem! Yeah, Emma, you tell her. Listen, little girl. I've had my testimony disregarded before. And I wasn't going to have it disregarded again. Just like that time. That time. I think now we can talk more about it. There we go. That's when I learned the truth. We're nothing to them. Disposable. Disposable? Two years ago, it was the biggest case I'd ever handled. Whoa, who are those people? Well, okay, it's her boyfriend, and then some other- <laughs> And then that's Goodman. Goodman. Okay. The police and the prosecutors were desperate for decisive evidence. So, uh, they didn't solve it? On the contrary. It was solved quite cleanly. The criminal was caught and executed. Whoa! <laughs> that's dark. Executed? Watch, they caught the wrong person. <laughs> yes, the criminal got what was coming to him. It didn't get any cleaner than that. The only problem was... They never did find decisive evidence. Not even a little. What? But the criminal was executed, right? Evidence 
of a sort. Made up evidence. W what? You mean they executed someone with fabricated evidence? The best part came several months after the trial. Every detective involved with the case was dealt with. Some were demoted to patrolmen, others found themselves out of a job. And you were one of those? Myself, and one other person you know well. Wait, could it be? Exactly. Officer Jake, or Jack, Jake? Jake. Jake Marshall. He's on the security detail in the, in the police department, isn't he? Oh yeah. So tell us about your boyfriend. Yeah. As professional detectives, we investigated that case from every angle. Jake was particularly determined. As a cowboy. Yeah. And then it was over, and he was demoted. However, he hasn't forgotten, and neither have I. You haven't forgotten SL9? There was another side to that case, a hidden side. That's what we're after now. And no one up in their fancy offices can stop us. Wait! Th those lunches you sell! There is only one reason I come to sell lunches in this accursed office. I come here to meet old friends, boyfriends, that can help me investigate. Miss Starr's old boyfriends? How many does she have, anyway? Just when the detectives on the case have disappeared, we find new evidence. There has to be a connection. So, Rookie. W what It seems you're serious about investigating this case. Yes. Then you should take this. A Salisbury steak lunch? I know a certain guy who might help you if you tempt him with this treat. Steak lunch received. Best piece of evidence ever. ever. Well, Sweet. second best. Missile's the best. Missile is the best. Um, Miss Star? Officer Marshall, is he your... Uh, are you his... Are you going out? <laughs> All the gossip. <laughs> Why do you want to know? I was just wondering what happened to him. A long time ago, when he was helping my sister do cases, he was so nice. He got along so well with my sister, it made me jealous. And he was nice to me too back then. This would be when Officer Marshall was a detective. But now... now he's so cold. Jake and I are merely cooperating on this investigation. We're putting the past to rest, as it were. Nothing more than that. I... I see. Thank you. Officer Jake Marshall. Hmm. Wait, it says Officer Jake Marsali. <laughs> or Marshali. See? Oh, it does. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Sorry, I had to point out all the grammatical and spelling errors. It's, ju it's just the way I am. Okay. Also, one thing we can do... Oh, well, first off, check the steak lunch part. <laughs> That's a lot of butter. Wow, my mouth is watering. I can almost hear the sound of the steak frying on the grill. No doubt it's all cold and tough by now. No, I'm sure it's delicious. Miss Star poured her heart into making this. So, so, long, so long as she didn't put any other organs in there. Ugh. It's actually I wonder what else is in there. So there's carrots. Uh, and asparagus. Asparagus. Nice. I and love rice. Asparagus. Because it's Japan. Amer yep. uh, japan -ifornia. I don't. I don't know what that is. Is that like pineapple? Um. Yeah, that's like Maybe potato that's potato? Cheese. Wait, go back. Go back. Eh. We're gonna discuss, We're gonna find this out. Um, not, that's what, not bananas. What else is there? Is there cauliflower? The cauliflower? Oh, I hope not. Cauliflower is gross. Oh, there's an, there's an expiration date? It's like expired like two years Let's ago. Let's see. Ingredients. Meat. She must mean beef. She probably just wrote it generically. Uh, yeah. Let's hope so. Ugh, let's hope it doesn't turn into Swinney Todd with Mrs. Lovett. Anyway. Of course, as a scientist, I have to check what additives she used. Go to town. Huh? It says here, hours of sweat and labor. So that's why the sauce is so salty. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Or it could just be soy. Yeah, we can use the luminol and click spray, and we can spray this like everywhere. It's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> you can't spray Good thing it that you on have like an though. unlimited amount. Okay. Yeah, that's I'm not sure really there's nice. like some. In oh. Oh. 
Oh! On the phone. This blood must be from when Lana... No! My sister isn't the murderer! But she did call you, didn't she? At the time of the crime? And her right hand is bandaged. Hey! Just whose side are you on? This has nothing to do with taking sides. So, this means that Lana's hand had blood on it. Or it means the victim found the phone before getting stabbed. This just keeps getting worse. Yeah, that's the thing. We can't check whose blood it is. Sadly. Is that it? That's it for this room. Oh, that's it for all the let's blood. Let's visit Edgeworth. Oh, boy. Clearly, he's got nothing let's good to do. Let's spray it in his room. It's like, what <laughs> are you doing with the little <laughs> February 23rd, spray. High Prosecutor's Office, room 1202. Well, this place is certainly tidy today. And it will be tidy tomorrow, too. Incidentally, he's not here. I'm sure he's off doing important investigations. I hope that's what he's doing. I guess we'll have to come back. No, we don't. We can examine and look for blood. Well, we've already examined the stuff okay, last but we're gonna time. Look but for yeah, blood. we have to look for blood in here. Well, it's blood, blood on his chest set. <laughs> he's like, do you mind um, that you're spraying this everywhere <laughs> in my room? Unless he's wearing the red glasses, he won't be able to see it. Oh, what the... This is getting real. Oh. He's like, I just cut myself trying to eat an apple. <laughs> what? It looks like some blood has dripped down here. Judging by the amount, I guess it's from a nosebleed. A nosebleed, hmm? Maybe in his wrath. Mr. Edgeworth slapped someone for their incompetence. Why does Detective Gumshoe's face come to mind? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's actually quite a few blood stains you can find. Oh, but like only a very small only a amount few of them, of them are actually, actually work. Are, okay, because I was yeah. like, wait, did the victim just like run everywhere and bleed everywhere? <laughs> yes, that's exactly what that's exactly what happened. February twenty third, detention oh, center, good, we can talk visitors to the girl. room. Looks like Miss Sky is in questioning. Oh, never mind. I hope the detectives aren't yelling at her. How did you kill him in two days at the place at pl two places at the same time? Can you imagine? How is she supposed to answer that? Wait a second. The chief said they'd caught the criminal at the police department. Let's come back later. That's true. Because they have two different let's suspects. Check, no, let's check for blood. There must be blood on the guy. There's not. There's no oh. blood here or over there. What to do? Well, where should we begin? Okay, well, isn't it obvious? We should begin with that, you know, that thing. The mystery of the victim, I guess. How one could one man, Detective Goodman, be killed in two places simultaneously? Oh, well, you see... We should go to the police department. The evidence room, was it? Uh... I'm not being very useful here, am I? No, no! You're being very... helpful. <laughs> wow, Phoenix. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. You're becoming a thorn in my side, Worthy. There have been rumors. After all, you were in the defendant's chair just last year. And then when he opens his eyes, it's terrifying. <laughs> what was his name? Damon Gant. Gant. Okay. There was that business with him not reading the officer's report. Ah, uh, about the killing at the police department, right. Ah. The chief of police was right about that. Well, yeah. But I can't help but think someone at the police department doesn't like Edgeworth. I do like his clapping animation. I do. I do, too. I like it when his eyes are closed. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, we can't go to criminal affairs from there. Oh, I want to go to criminal affairs. Here we go. Oh, sweet. We can spy on the detectives who are playing video games. Yep. February 23rd, police department, criminal affairs. Wow, everyone looks deadly serious here. There's only like two people here. Well, there was a vicious murder of a detective in this department, after all. Yes, but the same detective was also killed at the same time in the okay, prosecution. Might I plot. add, Mr. Goodman is quite spiffy. He's, he's got, got his white he's got fedora. The hat, he's got the collar. Yeah, he, he's he's looking great. Other than that, the fact that he's dead. Yeah. Ugh, it makes my head hurt. Well, first things first. I want to check out this crime scene here. Yeah, you sound dead set on investigating, but don't mess up, or we could wind up dead. Yeah. After... I doubt anyone wants more mysteries or okay. dead bodies around no. here. Right after, now. after Von Karma, Von Karma with the taser. With the taser. I mean, I don't ever want to go to a police department now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like. But no. It doesn't look like anyone's going to help us much either. That's okay. We can go. We look still want to. We got to examine the ch chief of the detectives. Yeah. 
That must be the head detective. He's glued to his computer screen. What? Detective killed in the evidence room? Tell no one outside the police department? No! I told that old lady at the restaurant everything! <laughs> Someone's getting into motion. <laughs> Is he just talking to a lady about his problems? <laughs> that would be great. That must be one of the detectives. He's mumbling something to himself. I know! The killer used dry ice! If you put it between the latch and the door, the room could be sealed shut! This is good! I'll win a writer's award for sure! He's not writing a report. He's writing a novel. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> these, these detectives are the best. They are indeed. By that I mean they're the worst. Well, February 23rd, police department entrance. It's even busier here today than it was yesterday. The detectives are running around so fast they're blurring. I suppose it makes sense. A detective did get killed in their own department. So, the evidence room. The scene of the crime. According to the pamphlet we got at the front desk, here it is! She's like a kid in an amusement park. Ooh, a real crime scene! Let's go take a look! <laughs> Alrighty then. Security guard office. Are we allowed to be oh, in here? Oh, <laughs> I wonder whose office this is! Uh huh. February 23rd, evidence room entrance guard station. He's like, I love Texas, I love cactus, I love... <laughs> What's with the decor in this place? It's very eccentric. According to the pamphlet, this is the guard station for the evidence room. So, beyond that door is the evidence room. The scene of the crime? I'm sh it sure seems that way. Oh. Oh. What's wrong? It's those cacti. They're so prickly, so imposing, it's hard to think straight. If you can't handle the cacti, stay out of the desert. What I want to know is, if this is a guard station, where is the guard? I have a feeling I know who this guard is already. <laughs> yeah, what tipped you off? The cacti. <laughs> or, the the Yankee, cactus. or the Yankee candle whose scent is Texas. <laughs> the cactus in Texas. It looks like there's a video feed from the evidence room here. Wait. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's a light blinking below the monitor. It says, recording. I bet we could use this computer to check on who went in and out of here. I bet we could. Or we could just go in there. The evidence room is beyond that door. Let's just walk in! It won't open. You thought it'd be open? I think we need someone's permission to go in there first. Like the guard station. I don't know, I feel like... Because normally, if the guard was actually doing his job, you wouldn't be able to get in the door anyway. So we'd be like, hold it, partner, Bambina, I need a pass first. So. Yeah, well. Oh, this is all the stuff. Da, da, da. Never mind. Let's look at the cat, the, that thing. There's a security guard uniform hanging here. It looks more like a costume than a uniform, honestly. A leather jacket, leather pants, a leather... What was that called again? A punchy? A ponchy? A pinchy? I know! A poochy! Poochy ain't stupid. Hmm, wait, maybe that wasn't it. It's a poncho, but I think I'll keep that information for myself for the time being. <laughs> In court, it's like, he was wearing a poochy! <laughs> that would be the best. That would be the best. Yipes, that sure is prickly. Must be the real deal. I would think just one big one would be sufficient. This cactus is a lot like my sister, actually. Mrs. Goodhart? Encased in a cold, rigid shell, thorns pointing in every direction. Just like her. You know, I've been looking at this cactus a while now, and I don't see the resemblance. It's more an attitude thing than a physical similarity. <laughs> well, that was random. I thought he was going to be like, she's not wearing the scarf! It's just not the same. Oh yeah, let's spray blood. The blood and guts and everything. Hope you don't mind. I'm spilling my Kool Aid everywhere. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Turns out someone just got impaled by the cactus. Whoa, we got a reaction. Hmm. There's clearly blood around the thorns here. This room's pretty messy. Someone must have tripped over something and then planted their head right in these thorns. I think that might be more painful than being murdered. Ouch. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. That's all the time we have for today, people! Thanks wow. for watching! Uh, tune in next time. We'll be exploring... We'll have to find a way into the evidence room. Anyhow... We'll just break in. 
look forward to that. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless. Thank you.